Welcome back, folks. We are kind of doing okay. We need our resolve on our humans to come up so that we can uh, gain some passive resolve or reputation down here. And all we're really waiting for is the trader to hopefully bring some bricks. Let's see. Can, could we get bricks from anywhere? No. We could not. We could get clay, though. Uh, how much grain do we have right now? Uh, we have 149 grain. So, let's do that. Uh, trade routes. Uh, no, we can't get clay. Dummy. Uh, can we maybe get clay from these? No. We can get roots and... Bugs. Uh, beaver woodcutter will have to do to lower resolve. That's up here then. Yep. Uh, do we have any beavers available? No. Let's grab one from here. You. And put you in there. Okay. Man, we can't get clay from anywhere. That really sucks. We're in drizzle. Uh, we are. We should not be making pottery. We are making biscuits and and pies, though. Well, pies right now. Okay. We kind of need their resolve to get up there. Uh, what we could do when the trader arrives, sometimes in the sometime in the distant future, is buy some simple tools and get things going that way. The resolve is almost there. There we go. Plus 0 0.27 per minute. Outstanding. Right, we're in clearance. I really don't care about the insects that much. Uh, or do I? Because we are actually don't have that much food. I do. Uh, let's move you down here. And do something. Let's move you down here and do something and there we go we can get the new building a lizard house or a granary uh the lizard house would be kind of nice but they take bricks um mush soup is is anyone like uh really excited about mush soup no no one's excited about mush soup. Okay. Never mind about the mush soup then. We can all make, ready make packs of crops and packs of uh, provisions. So let's pick the lizard's house. Uh, and let's actually turn this off. We don't need to make it. And we can assign a lizard somewhere where it's more useful. There, for instance. Actually, no. Uh, let's take you out because we have had some lizards that left. All right, trainer, come on. You can do it.
and bring bricks. All right, we have the stuff now, the pies and the biscuits. Oh, more biscuits coming there, more biscuits coming there. All right. Uh, 27 flour and 55 herbs. All right. This is good. This is good. Oh. So who lives here? Ooh. Let's get all of your bricks. Let's get some tools. And I think that's it. So what do we want to trade? Uh, plant fiber. Uh, trade 100. It's nowhere near enough. We have a lot of, uh, maybe not that much. Uh, 100 is more than enough. We're actually using the plant fiber. So let's take that down to 70 maybe. Trade that. And that means that we can build our brewery, our uh, tavern. We can get some people working in there. All right, brewery, we want you to make ale. And we'll get a couple of people in there. We could make mush soup. Could make wine. I think we have uh, some berries, don't we? No, I guess not. I guess they were eaten. Where is our pack uh, here? So from this we get maybe berries, maybe plant fiber. Over here we get berries. So we could make wine. Uh, we do need to make the uh, makeshift hearths and the storage. But we could also build some lizard housing. So let's build a few lizard houses. Like that. And here... We now get Leisure and Brotherhood, which is fantastic. Get a human in there. We have 30 berries. Uh, so let's see here. We can do either tea or ale. We'll be brewing ale, right? Yeah. But we need pottery for that. Darn it. We need pottery for ale. So next time the trader comes... Uh, maybe we can... No, we can't trade for pottery. All right, the Lizards Resolve shouldn't get as bad now because there's, well, at least some of them has housing. Uh, Lizard House, another one. Uh, Herbalist Camp has nothing to do. Let's move you over here. And then... The... Stonecutter's camp. Uh, need to start cutting down there. Yeah, yeah, people are leaving. I know, I know. But we have done Brotherhood 16 times now. Which is great. Uh, now we'll do reinforced tools. 
We'll get... 212, I think. Which means that we need one more lizard's house. We still have bricks. Housing. Lizard house. Um, put you there. Uh, let's move you up here. Let's move you up here. Right, the lizards are almost at the point where they are happy as well. They are now at the point where they are happy. So, plus 0 0.45 per minute. So that means that we have basically won this. We are getting the Brotherhood. Which is great. Uh... The one thing that we were really missing was clay. The one thing that we were really missing was clay. 0 0.53 per minute. All right, we are we're done. We have won. Fantastic. There we go. And wow, we did a lot. So we got 25 and 5, 5 new citadel upgrades. What's the safe cycle? Fast colonization, stonewood infestation, first steps, prosperity, deeper into the wilds, big settlement, rolling and wealth, orders from the queen. Nice. This was awesome. All right, so all our towns are gonna go away now, aren't they? Because we built three, so we have to end the cycle. But we have nine deeds unlocked. Wow. All right, we get a lamp. We win a game with at least 35 villagers. Let's do that. Uh, prosperity one. Uh, what was that? Collect the points. Collect 10 points of reputation through villager resolve. Win three games we did. Get a lizard post, whatever that is. Uh, Stonewood infestation. You want a game near the Stonewood infestation modifier? Let's do that. Uh, complete 20 orders. Done. Train goods worth 200 amber. Done. Fantastic. So all we need now is win a game with 200 paths built. Okay. And then this is done. Nice. All right, build a settlement at least six fields away from the citadel. Done. Win three games in one cycle. Done. We get a flower bed. All right. Uh, okay. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Yes. Safe cycle. Win three games in a cycle without any villager dying. <laughs> nice. All right. Cool. So we've done quite a bit. Uh, buy upgrades. We have 29 and 5. So we can get this one now. This trader's sword. We might have cooked and raw food, pottery tools, as well as perks and blueprints tied to agriculture for sale. And then a building blueprint, rain mill, which can produce flour very efficiently, oil and manuscripts. So let's unlock that. And then next time. Ooh. 
next time we can unlock this uh, plus one in bark range uh, apothecary and tea doctor you can produce tea incense and biscuits a place where villagers can fulfill needs luxury and leisure uh, Cornerstone plus two to leather production and a building blueprint of a ranch. Nice. There is so much to this game. Cornerstone gain a stack of the wealth effect plus one to global resolve each time you trade goods with worth 50 amber. Okay. Building blueprint a place where villagers can fulfill needs, brotherhood, free religion, and luxury. The market. Okay. Plus one trade route. Okay. Cornerstone, Mist Piercers. You are allowed to use the legendary Mist Piercers with such a rare gift at your disposal. The Queen's expectations are high. Glade content is revealed, but every discovered Glade increases in patience by one. Ouch! Uh, old Farloff, Trader, Metal Fuel Tools, Building Materials, and Number of Blueprints and Perks. And the Workshop can produce planks, fabric, and bricks. Okay. Well, we don't have enough to do anything right now. We're missing one freaking food item to, uh, to unlock either this or this or this. And I think I would have chosen this. Hmm. Alright, well, we need to get some machinery. Uh, which one is it that gives us extra embark points? It's that one. Uh, so that would be kind of nice. Alright, well, let's see. We have to end the cycle. Okay, gathered 19, spent 40. <laughs> gathered 3, spent 2. One left. Why is. Do we lose when we. I don't know. Unlock content. Phase progress. Next phase of the leech. Experience gained this cycle. 1030. Alright. I guess end the cycle and then we have to start over what is that you heard the first dawn company is planning to embark here in five years well, I don't care about the first dawn company I want to get to some of this stuff so I think we'll go here not a lot of it's all just we, we could get this If we do this one, then we have five of those, which means that we can unlock something. And then we can move out towards this one. So let's do that. So medium, normal, 12, 12, average amount. 14 to 60 experience. Uh, Stonewood infestation. Uh, Harvesting speed in the Royal Woodlands is increased by 10. Okay, let's do this. We still only have three embark points. Uh, we don't need to bring wood. I think I'll go with some eggs, some meat, and some roots. Get three in there because we only have three embark points. Let's do it. Okay, what do we have? Mushrooms after rain, plus three to mushrooms production. Gain additional mushrooms every yield. Uh, and it's active in drizzle active in drizzle plus five to spark to production gain additional spark to invigorating will 
Uh, winds fulfill at least the following needs clothing. Units move 20% faster. The perpetual looming darkness. We have rotting wood, woodcutter's trust. Cut trees 50% faster, but I have a 100% chance to destroy your yield. Okay, and that's at two. And then cold snap, fulfill at least the following need. Complex food. Okay. Unit has a 40% chance to perish every 45 seconds. It's only lizards, though. Humans and beavers. Okay. Well, let's get to it. Uh, we have some nice big glades around. So... Woodcutter's camp... Here. Woodcutter's camp... Um... Here. Uh, shelters... Here, here, here. We will uh, prioritize these guys. We will build paths uh, here. Okay. All right, got them built. Okay. Let's get some woodcutters in here. Okay. There we go. We will mark some trees here. Not that many though. Like so. That gets that going. Let's see, we have a root deposit. We have clay deposits. So stone cutters camp would be kind of good. A carpenter or a supplier. Planks, training gear, pack of luxury goods, fabric, pottery, and pack of trade goods. Uh, well, we need to produce fabric, but... Uh, let's hold off just a little bit. Well, some of our guys have shelter. Uh, let's build an extra shelter. We're going to need it anyway. All right, cannibalism grain bags. And vineyard. Uh, let's see if we get any uh, farms before we choose anything here. All right, first orders. Uh, herbalist camp, 20 berries, three glades. What is that perk gain? Two precise due for every 10 berries produced. We don't know if we're getting a herbalist camp yet, and this is easy. Cut through the forest to discover three glades. Pick. Uh, we can definitely do that. That gives the workstation 50% to amount of goods produced. That's kind of nice. And packs of trade goods can be made in the produced in the makeshift post. A uh, small farm, farm field. Let's hold off a little bit.
Let's get everyone home, guys. We have no wood. We have absolutely no wood. All right, what do we have? We have flax field for the scavengers camp. Not bad. We have that farmland, which is good. We will uh, medium abandoned cash. Yeah. All right. So we'll move this woodcutter's camp over here. And we'll start working our way into this glade. We will get a farm up and running here. Uh, So what, what what did we actually pick here? Um, so we can do farms. Well, we don't know if we can build farms yet. Uh, oh crap! This is kind of a catch twenty two because if I pick this one, then I'll be able to make trade goods in the makeshift post, and the makeshift post will be fifty percent better. But I wouldn't mind the two humans, those three, and two fabric. Now, let's pick that. Um, simple path. Easy. Definitely. Okay. So, I don't need to make a pack of trade goods. So, we will choose the carpenter. Then we'll choose the small farm. And then we'll choose the herb garden. Uh, so a small farm here, for sure. Right there. Okay. We need some paths. Which is fine, because I want to go over this way anyway. And I want to build 200 paths. All right, we opened that up. Two more farmlands. Beautiful. Um, did anything get delivered for this? No, because we can't deliver it yet because I didn't build the thing. Uh, so I think I'd rather build two farms right here and put have them go that way. I'll still build the paths, because we will probably get a farm over here, right? Uh, but first, industry, crude workstation. Uh, it can go there, it can have path. Then, uh, a small farm, uh, we, we need to chop down a lot of trees here to open up this farmland. Uh, maybe not that particular one. Uh, we need to cut down a little bit of tree here. Let's move you in here so you can do all that. Man, we have no wood available. None. Uh, we did get the small farm. So let's do that.
Okay. We have 52 wood. Okay. Uh, we need... Let's put one lizard in here for now. That path was built. We don't have any bonuses for opening up glades during uh, the drizzle season right now, so or on this one, so uh, we can just open up. It's fine. All right, the makeshift post is built. Okay, do we have any? Uh, we do. Um, I think I'll welcome new people. There's another farmland. I think I'll pull one human out of here and one human out of here. And we'll put you in here for now to make planks. And then we will get a small farm. What do I need? Oh, there's a stone cutters thing there. Okay, so we need the small farm to be in here once they cleared that out. Uh, this small farm probably needs to be in there. Alright, everyone's gonna be miserable. Uh, let's mark a little bit of wood here for, to be cleared. So we've uh, actually done this. So we can deliver that. We can deliver that. Which gives us two new buildings. Uh... I think I want the brewery. This can produce flour, oil, and manuscripts. Let's do the brewery. Let's do the bakery. I really need to be able to make flour, though, which we're not right now. Uh... All right, uh, path. And come up here. Come down here, and then we'll figure out where it's going. Is there room for a uh, small farm in here right now? No, we need to open up just a tad more. Not that big tree, though. And I think we need to chop down this one as well. Will the small farm if we build it here, will it hit everything? No. No, it has to be in here. To hit everything. Alright. Well. We don't have the simple tools to do anything. We have one, but that's not enough. Uh, let's move you up here. Start cut a pass in there. Okay. Alrighty. And 
and they're cutting around all the wrong trees first. Uh, we should have planks now, so let's start making the other things as well. Alright. Uh, food production, small farm. Right there. Uh, here we'll get two humans and a lizard. We'll get... It's getting here. Three. Vegetable production is increased by three, but global resolve. No, thank you. No, we'll do that even though it's kind of useless to us, I think. Uh, we need to build a, a makeshift post. Okay, this was the small farm, then we'll put the herb garden over here. Uh, we have two homeless um, housing shelter. Let's build a house over here. We don't want homeless people. Uh, what are the orders that we can get? Uh, path. Fifty paths for five amber. You know what? Pick that. Uh, 25 packs of crops for 25% of 25% and 25%. Oh, yes, please. And we can already deliver that. All right, human. Well, actually, there's no point in that right now. We don't even have the farm fields yet. Uh, what can we get here? A supplier or a smelter? Um, we can always do packs of trade goods in here, can't we? No, we can't, but we will be able to once we get this done. So we don't really need the supplier, which means that we're getting the smelter. But we can put uh, farm fields in here as well. And we can put... This fall farm in here? Yes, we can. So let's not chop anything else here. Move you. And we'll get... I guess this glade here opened up. That's a nice big one. Okay. Uh, we can get someone in here working on this so next f summer oh wait small farm small farm i do not want a small farm there uh i want a herb garden Right, no one is homeless now. That's good. Uh, and we're in clearance. Hmm. 
So scavengers camp might not be bad to get up and running as well. Well, Stonecutter's camp is working here, which is fine. I don't think it needs to be much faster than it is right now. Let's, uh, while we have the time, let's put a few shelters down. Just so we have them. All right, we opened up into here. There are lizards affected. Um, 15 bundles of coats and some jerky. Let's take that. And I want some veggies. We're running a little bit low on food, which I'm not super excited about. Uh, scavengers camp. Let's build that too. We have a lot of moss broccoli patches here. Uh, wow, we are actually running really low on wood. Um, you know what? Let's move one of these in here. And we'll simply start chopping down some wood close to home. Free up a bit of space and get some wood in here fast because we only have two wood left, which is insane. Right, we got our extra shelters up. Right, this one is done. Good. We need to build our, our trading post as well. Uh, trading post. It doesn't really need to be anywhere in particular, so let's just put it over here. We are so low on wood. We're picking up stuff here, so that's good. And clothing and jerky is good. Jerky will get the lizards happier for a bit. Clothing will get humans and beavers happier for a minute. Uh, not lizards, though. No. Alright. Oh. Speed up. The scavenger's camp is done. Right, so we need to free up some humans. We need four humans. Right now we have two. So where are their humans? Uh, there's a human over there. So that human will be freed up. Uh, then there is a human in this woodcutter's camp. So... All right. Uh, the lizard is actually happy about being here, isn't it? No. 
but I'd rather have the lizard in there. But we are out of time, so we'll have to push on in the next one. Ooh, what is this? We got a smithy. We got a rain mill. And we got a stonecutter's camp. Okay. Got a flax field. So the smithy. What can you do? We don't know yet. Yeah, produce simple tools, barrels, and packs of luxury goods. The rain mill can produce flour, oil, and manuscripts. So we need the rain mill to be rebuilt. Uh, uh, simple tool barrels and packs of luxury goods. I think we'll rebuild that as well once we uh, get the people for it. But we'll have to do it in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.